So I kind of hate that I feel compelled to make this video, but my god, I have got to make this video because what the f is wrong with people? Y'all heard about what happened, stupid mill, right? If you didn't, what the hell are you doing with your life? Get out from under that rock. From start to end, stupid mill is literally a chain of one terrifying event after another. From an unconscious drunk girl being raped repeatedly and then blamed for it, to her peers watching and taking pictures and videos of it, to her rapist seriously claiming that it was consensual even while referring to her as the dead girl, to the mainstream media mourning how awful it must be to be convicted of rape. It just, you know, kind of makes me want to set myself in fire or vomit or both. What Stupidville reminds us is that we live within a rape culture, a culture where sexual violence is common but it's considered normal and it is dismissed in any number of ways. Even though everyone was calling Jane Doe the dead girl, even though Trent Mace took a picture of her passed out with his cum on her, even though he sent a text that said, lol, she couldn't even move, the boys still claim it was consensual. I don't know about you guys, but I engage in conversations with people when I'm unconscious all the time. One of the people said, I didn't realize it was rape. It wasn't violent. I thought rape was forcing yourself on someone. Here's what people need to know about rape. It's not usually violent. It's not always forced and it's usually done by somebody that you know. Rape refers to any sort of penetration that doesn't come with an explicit, yes please, I like that. Common type of party rape is that the rapist pushes and pushes and disrespects boundaries and the victim feels like they can't say no or like a no would not stop them from doing it. Which is why consent to sex does not mean there was no no. Consent to sex means there was a yes. Because you asked, hey, are you into this? Do you like this? Do you want me to keep going? Another yes is that both people are actively participating. It is not. Yes, that means yes. Whoops, no it doesn't. Guess that means rape. But what about when alcohol is involved? It is essential that verbal and nonverbal consent are obtained. However, this only applies to a certain point. Once they are slurring, can't walk straight, throwing up in the street, passed out in a basement, they can't give consent under any circumstances. I mean, who wants to have sex with someone who isn't participating in it? Oh right, rapists do. Many people have expressed the opinion that one of the most unsettling facts of the case was the fact that so many people were watching this happen. But instead of reaching out and saying, okay, no more of this, honey, let's take you home. They laughed, took pictures, filmed it, tweeted about it, while two dudes were repeatedly raping her and offering each other money to pee on her. Why wouldn't anyone do anything? Like I said, people thought it was okay, but there was a kid who spoke out. He said, guys, what are you doing? Just wait till she's awake. The rapist said, don't worry, dude, it's okay. And given that he had no social support and everyone else was going along with it, he lost his bravery and he backed down. This is called the bystander effect and it contributes to rape culture, but a lot of other problems in society too. Because there are so many people around, nobody feels personally responsible. The truth is, we're all responsible. That kid who spoke up was the bravest kid in that house that night, but we need people to be even braver. When some shit going down, we need people to know that they have to interfere so long as their personal safety isn't at risk. People need to know that it doesn't make them the bad guy or a killjoy, it makes them a, a hero. Remember that one time I made a video to Jenna Marbles and I went on Dr. Phil and talked about slut shaming and I was like, hey guys, guess what? Slut shaming women is sexist and dehumanizing and it allows people to reduce someone from human being status down to whore. When we reduce someone down to whore, she becomes one of those girls. In the mind of the average person, those girls don't have a right to say no. To many of these kids and to people leaving their shitty, depraved opinions all over the internet, Jane Doe was just a whore, and whores should expect to be treated this way. Even more sadly, she expected it too. This expectation is what makes victims feel ashamed and keeps them quiet. Instead of asking, how could they think that this was okay? Rape culture is people asking, 
What was she thinking wearing that skirt? Why on earth would she get that drunk? Here's a radical notion. Women should be able to wear whatever they want, friggin' go naked if they want, intoxicated, and they still shouldn't have to worry about being punished for it with rape. How you dress or sobriety don't prevent rape anyway. People are raped around the world regardless of what they're wearing, regardless of how many people they've had sex with, regardless of how drunk they are. To combat sexual violence, women don't need to change how they dress or change their drinking habits. We need to educate people about consent and about sexual violence, and rapists need to stop raping. Cherry on the fucked up Sunday. It's how the media responded after for once in like a bajillion cases, rapists were held accountable for their actions. CNN reported that it was, quote, incredibly difficult to watch as these two young men had such promising careers and their lives fell apart. <sighs> NBC lamented that they now have to register as sex offenders, kissing goodbye their dreams of playing college football. No. Yahoo reported that the courtroom was filled with sobbing and exhausting emotion for this harsh sentence of one year in juvie. Rapists are not victims. The number of people who were sympathizing with the rapists as if they were the victims. If everyone could just stop with that shit ASAP, I'd be happy. So um, that's some of the stuff that I wanted to say about it. Feel free to say any of the stuff that you wanted to say about it because there's a lot of stuff to say about it, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye bye. Except your mom. Oh. What?